hello there. I didn't see you there. Welcome to Tomplex's YouTube channel. I've just gotten better from being sick. God, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna start the intro all over again. <laughs> hey guys, me Tomplex here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. I just got over being sick. I am very tired and my voice is feeling icky, but I'm gonna push through because I got two new books two new books today show my address for the bazillionth time again as you can see behind me my room is finished and it is now my nerd cave and now let's get into the new unboxing uh the books i got were dc's kingdom come by mark wade and batman nightfall book one the other two books in that series i'm going to collect their night quest and night scent and I really am excited to read both of them because I want to try and collect some other old issues. And I'm just really excited. I've heard many great things about the Kingdom Come storyline. I literally just ordered these this morning and they just arrived today. But they're pretty big books. Like um, the Nightfall one is about 600 some odd pages. And, um, and the Kingdom Come one is about like 390 something pages or 360 pages or something. Future me, um, please put here in the video uh, the pages for each book. So the Batman Nightfall book is 640 pages while the Kingdom Come book is 392 pages. Thank you. All right, now without further ado, let us get into the unboxing. God, this video is already going downhill and I haven't done a YouTube video in two weeks. I see it. Ooh, baby. I can't do anything right. I'm still regaining my energy. Guys, don't make fun of me. <coughs> Alright. Okay, now, bubble wrap. Let's pop it. Three, two, one. And now, the best montage sequence ever. And thus was the end of the montage sequence. Oh man, that actually looks really amazing. Uh, so the first book is Kingdom Come. Take a look at that. You've got Hawkman, you've got, Ho uh, not Hawkman. I'm trying to recollect my brain cells. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Sentinel. I forgot who the rest of these guys in here are. Oh, okay, so this is Power Girl. Yes, more NSFW content, everybody. Hawkman's uh, godson, who we meet in uh, the JSA Omnibus Volume 2. Oh, uh, we got Batman 2. Uh, I think that's Jay Garrick as the Flash. I might be mistaken. I've heard some pretty great things about this run of DC. Um, it has like side stuff. Ooh, this binding is perfect. Ooh, we've got the Spectre, which is pretty awesome. That's right here. That's the Spectre, who we meet in the JSA Omnibus books. Remember, on and off from time to time. Okay, so let's read the back. In the near future world of Kingdom Come, superheroes are ubiquitia, ubiquitous. A heroism is rare. After decades as Earth's champions, the members of the Justice League have all retreated out of the public eye, replaced with a new generation of crime fighters whose brand of justice leaves humanity terrified rather than inspired. But with the planet's future in jeopardy, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman must come out of retirement to make one last stand for truth and justice. From comics, legends, Mark Wade and Alex Ross, well, those guys, their books are amazing, comes the def- comes the def- the co- comes the definitive collection of seminal masterpiece Kingdom Come, with more than 150 pages of sketches, annotations, and other behind-the-scenes features, including never-before-published original series outline, preliminary treatment, issue number one outline, issue number one script, and more. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Wait, hold on. Is that Dr. Fate I just saw? It is. Oh, Fate 5. Reconstituting itself from the knife form it held, the gold helmet of Nabu once the ancient lords of order reclaims the sentience once it is held. The old Doctor Face slash Kent Nelson. 
Kent Nelson relationship, but this time without, okay. At what point does the book stop? Okay, so it stops halfway through and then it just goes on to characters and drawings and outer discussions, which is pretty awesome. I, I, I'm enjoying that. That looks really awesome. The art style is just amazing in this. It's very, it, it's very like, it's very painted and that's what I love about it. All right, so next up we go to, ooh, Batman Nightfall Volume 1. These are more of the complete collections of the Batman Nightfall series. So, um, heads up, this one is the book that somewhat inspired The Dark Knight Rises, in which Bane both physically and mentally broke Batman. Ah, uh, yes! I was wondering what would break first! Ah! Ah! Your spirit? Oh, your money! Oh man, that actually looks really good. So here we've got um, Bane inside the back cave, and yeah, he's physically broken Batman's back. And uh, in the back, you see him torturing Batman again. Okay, so let's read the back. Every man has a breaking point, even the Batman. The Dark Knight's deadliest enemies have escaped Arkham Asylum. The Joker, Two-Face, the Mad Hatter, the Riddler, Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, Killer Croc, Firefly, Zaz, and one by one, Batman must face them in mortal combat. Mortal combat! Yeah, the lurking at the end of this seemingly endless gauntlet is the deadliest menace of all. A mysterious man mountain known as Bane. Will Bane break the bat, or can the Dark Knight save Gotham from the latest reign of, of terror to be unleashed upon its citizens? Read the blockbuster story that introduced the featured villain in The Dark Knight Rises. Okay, so this book does inspire Christopher Nolan's um, Dark Knight Rises. Um, I also think... Uh, in some aspects, Batman Dark Knight Returns also is some basis of Batman The Dark Knight Rises. Because there are some elements in that that do formulate that, but Batman v Superman has more of that Dark Knight Returns storyline. Yeah, let's take a look at the art. Um, okay, so Batman Nightfall Volume 1, the epic storyline in the Batman Legacy Collects, Batman Vengeance of Bane Special Number 1, Batman... Uh, number 491 to 500, De Detective Comics 559 to 60, Showcase 93, 7 through 8, and Batman Shadow of the Bat 16 through 18. And these are comics from the 90s, which is pretty awesome. And, um, ooh, the art is amazing. Let's see some new stuff. Yeah, this is definitely, um, very Dark Knight Rises reminiscent. This also kind of reminds me, uh, it is actually... I swear to God, this book reminds me of the first of like the three Arkham games, the three Batman Arkham games. Looking through some of this and seeing this, it very reminds me of the first Batman Arkham game, which Bane breaks into the Batcave and blows it up. I just, I'm really in love with this front cover too. Like it's just amazing. And just the mass of Bane compared to Batman is just astounding. And I love it. I can't wait to collect the, the next few books of this and be able to complete this collection so I can have a full understanding of it. But it's a pretty big book. Both these are pretty big books, as you can see, and I'm really excited to read these. And I'm sorry that I missed last week's video of, of a YouTube video, um, but I'll make it up to you next week as we'll be doing more comic book stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please tap the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!